The Frozen Sonic Mini 4K delivers incredible print quality in a budget desktop sized printer, but is it worth your cash? Join me, James Bruce, with MakeUsoft.com reviews as I take a closer look at the newest Frozen Sonic Mini 4K resin 3D printer. I'll show you why you might consider buying one and why you might still want to hold off. So first up, this isn't some random Kickstarter from an unknown company. You needn't worry there, Frozen are a huge name in the world of resin 3D printers. They've been around for a long time and their other printers have been very well received. Now they do also have higher end premium models available. However, the Sonic Mini 4K is firmly in the realms of desktop budget class at around $300, though you will also need to factor in shipping and possibly import costs. Now don't let the word budget put you off at all because this is still an incredible quality printer. Um, it's just that as the Mini in the name would suggest, you're not going to get huge prints out of it. That said, it's still 25% larger than the original Frozen Sonic Mini, and it's one of the best in class. With a total build volume of 6.1 inch diagonal and 5.1 inch height, the machine itself has a footprint of just 9.8 inches square by 12.9 inches in height, and it weighs around five kilograms. So this will comfortably sit on your desktop like this. As the 4K in the name would indicate, the LCD monochrome screen that they've used uh, to drive the printer is 4K resolution, meaning that if you thought resin printers were already incredible quality, this whacks it up to 11, giving you four times the resolution as another typical 1080p device. Now this results in an incredible 720 pixels per inch, or 35 microns uh, per voxel, and it can go all the way down to 10 microns per layer. Now that's not to say that we won't soon see a raft of 4K resolution printers coming from the major manufacturers. However, this is here, it's good, and it's shipping at the end of September, which is probably about the time you're watching this video. So I've played with a number of resin 3D printers over the years now. Uh, ranging from abysmal devices that really couldn't print a thing to larger format printers that sadly turned out to be a bit of a Kickstarter scam and were never delivered. But the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K, I have to say, is one of the easiest and most reliable I've used yet. Typically when I've had a failed print, it's been my fault for not leveling it correctly, uh, not shaking the resin enough, or just not knowing how to do the supports properly. Now I should also say I've been using this aqua grey 4k resin from Frozen themselves so you know that it's well matched to the printer. That's not to say you couldn't use other uh, resins of course but I've been using this and it came out really good. I guess the 4k in the name means that the resin particles are finer perhaps so you can get extra detail but to be honest it's cheap enough that I would consider picking up one of these anyway if you're going to order the printer. It's about $30 for a one litre bottle which is just as good as any other resin that you're going to get off of Amazon. Now to be clear, these two print samples that you're seeing now were actually sent alongside uh, the resin in the same box as that. However, I did attempt to print uh, one of these models, which I had a copy of, and it came out pretty much the same, except for a couple of scrapes and some odd residue, probably from the process that I'm using to cure it. I expect Frozen used their own special method and I believe they also have a machine which will cure it for you. So you place the model in and then it rotates it around and gives a perfectly even amount of UV light. As it is, I'm just using one of those little nail curing stations. But in terms of the same level of print quality, uh, just to say that those certainly were accurate, that is the sort of print quality that you can get out of this Sonic Mini 4K. Learning how to best wash and cure your models and then at which point to remove the supports uh, is all a part of the process of owning one of these resin printers really. You'll need to experiment on your own, find out what works for you and what gives you the best result. Like any 3D printer, it's a continual learning process. Another reason to consider the Sonic Mini 4K is the new monochrome LCD display, which is a lot faster than a traditional color one. And that means that each layer will take as little as two seconds to cure. And this is in conjunction with the Para LED version two, which is a parallel UV LED matrix ensuring smooth and even light distribution 
uh, underneath the print. So this full tray of little guys took under three hours to print. Obviously they're small and it's the height that will increase print time, so twice the height, twice the time. But still, that two seconds per layer is pretty amazing in my books. You could bash out an army of these in practically no time at all. These, by the way, are from the Maker's Cult, which you'll find on Patreon or CG Trader. And they come pre-supported, which for me is a huge deal because one of the biggest annoyances and one of the biggest failures I have with resin printers is just trying to figure out where to put those supports. So when the 3D modeler themselves has already figured that out and put them in the ideal place, that is amazing. And it means you can just load up the model, hit print, and then come back after a couple of hours to find a tray full of beautiful little prints. In terms of the software to use to slice and support your models, the Frozen Sonic Mini doesn't innovate there. It runs the standard Chitu uh, firmware and you'll need to use the Chitu Box software. So any issues you had with Chitu Box are still going to exist with this printer. However, Chitu Box is an industry standard piece of software for a reason. It's pretty good, very easy to use and pretty reliable. So it's a great thing that they haven't fallen back onto their own custom software. So apart from the speed and screen resolution, which don't get me wrong, are incredible factors, uh, the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K doesn't really innovate in any other way. It's more of an iterative upgrade on the previous model. There's no Wi-Fi or network printing, so you'll need to output your model, sliced models onto a USB drive, place that into the side of the printer and hit print. You'll still need to level it yourself though, and this is perhaps the one area where uh, if you're new to resin printing, you may have a problem. Essentially, you have to place a piece of paper onto the screen, zero the device, and then push down the build plate and tighten it up such that the paper can't move at all. Now, when I initially did this, I must have left one side a little bit loose and I got a lot of failed prints there. However, after performing level again, it worked a lot more reliably. But in that respect, it doesn't particularly innovate there at all. You will still need to level it yourself. The resin vat is made of solid metal as is pretty much the rest of the machine there. So it's all durable and very stable. No complaints there. It has an easy to use 2.8 inch touch panel and as I said, runs the standard Chitu firmware. It also comes fully assembled and to be honest, I can't find any fault with it. It's a solid printer, it prints reliably, it's fast and there's great detail on the prints. If that's what you're looking for in a budget desktop printer, uh, then this could be the model for you. And I'm sure this will set a new baseline that other manufacturers follow soon. So who is this printer for? If you've fallen in love with resin printing and just need that tiny bit extra detail, either for very small models or for jewelry, that sort of thing, uh, then this could probably be for you. If you're new to resin printing though, it might be better to start on something even cheaper. $300 is a great price, but you could safely go a lot cheaper and still get a satisfying quality print, I think. And you should consider that despite the budget cost of the printer, there are a lot of other consumables involved. Obviously the resin itself, although you're not gonna go through that very quickly, is $30 or thereabouts for about a liter. The FEP film on the bottom of the build tray will uh, need to be replaced eventually. And again, that's about $10, $15 per sheet. The LCD screen is actually also a consumable and will last for over 2000 hours-ish. But when you do need to replace it, that's another $90. On top of that, you'll need some IPA or isopropyl alcohol uh, to wash your prints. That's about $30 for five liters. Plus you'll need some sort of UV curing station to solidify your prints. And you'll probably also want to pick up some disposable latex gloves. There is a lot more overhead and work involved with resin 3D printing. You'll need to be more careful around the raw material uh, and you'll need to post process the printed objects a lot more than if it was just a uh, filament FDM printer. Of course, the results aren't comparable in the slightest, but it's something to bear in mind if you're new to resin printing. Anyway, thanks for watching this review. I hope I have managed to show you some uh, honest examples of what you can get out of the Sonic Mini 4K and helped you to decide whether it's the right printer for you. If it has, please consider hitting like. I know it seems like a silly thing to do, but it tells YouTube that this video was good and you think it should be shown to more people. Also, do consider subscribing for more weekly reviews, gadget giveaways, technology tutorials, and more from all of us at makeusof.com. Oh, and do go check out our newly revamped website. Thanks for watching, and until next time.